it's an art gallery here at CP24 Breakfast this morning. Let's hand things over to Nick. Yeah, hey, Nick. This is pretty amazing, Jen, to be up close to such beautiful works of art and also such pricey pieces of art as well. You know, this Thursday, Toronto Auction House, Cowley Abbott Fine Art is going to be showcasing some of Canada's most recognized and renowned paintings of course here some of these are going to be valued up to two to three million dollars so let's find out more about this right now Rob Cowley joining us now to talk more about this Rob thanks for joining us and for bringing all these incredible pieces of art this morning uh, let's start with this one this Lauren Harris piece absolutely mm -hmm. stunning work of art the most valued piece you've brought in today it is just tell us about this one it's featured on the front uh, the front cover of our June 8th uh, auction catalog uh, Nick it's it's Lauren Harris probably one of Canada's most famous painters mm -hmm. it's called quiet lake so it's a lake superior land landscape by the artist. It's been in the same collection for 50 plus years so, and it's really never been available to the public. So this will be the first opportunity uh, for the uh, for a collector to have it in their home. And as you said, it's valued between two and three million dollars. It could very well exceed that. What a huge opportunity. To mm -hmm. pick. I mean, like you said, Lauren Harris, one of the greatest artists this country's ever produced. Absolutely. Uh, I can only imagine what the buzz must be like in the art wheel around this. A great know. amount of buzz. Um, the collection that is part of that's w with us right now, um, this is a one collection, one huge collection of incredible historical art. Um, um, it's a collection that's been waited for by collectors for many, many years, and this was a central to the collection, hung above the mantle uh, in right. the collection for many years. Stunning, so lots stunning. Of excitement. Uh, another incredibly recognizable name from the Canadian art world, Emily Carr, mm -hmm. as well. What, what is this piece? So this is a forest interior by Emily Carr. Uh, this work is valued between three and four hundred thousand dollars from the same collection as the Harris. They own several cars, um, and this this painting is also generating a great deal of interest. Obviously, a West Coast uh, scene by the artist. In the fall, we sold an Emily Carr from this collection for uh, three point two million dollars uh, and you know when you're up close to these paintings you can see the texture you can yes. see the detail and, and and this one really draws you in it does what is it about the the, the, the like this is three to four hundred thousand this is maybe two to three million could you give us a sense of why there's the, the sort of discrepancy not discrepancy but dis disparity I absolutely suppose. well yeah. you find so with this work by Carr, it's actually a work on paper that's then laid on canvas and mm -hmm. so the medium plays a huge role whereas the work okay. by Harris is a canvas it's also a larger work okay there's also a bit more rarity um, with with uh, canvas by Lauren Harris versus a work on paper by Emily Carr. Okay. And so that, those are two of the facts. Right, I know you've got a lot to show us, but let's get of to course. the final one in this uh, part of the newsroom here. This is an Andy Warhol, an it iconic is. image of Queen Elizabeth II. Mm -hmm. uh, give us the information on this. So this is actually one of the, I think it's the only portrait in the collection of the royal family um, of Queen Elizabeth that she either didn't sit for and didn't have commissioned, but she did purchase it. And mm -hmm. so it's actually a set of four of these that we're offering on okay. Thursday evening. Yeah. We're selling them actually on behalf of the Winnipeg Art Gallery for their acquisition fund. Lots of interest. It's very rare to find four of them together in one set. Warhol sort of did that kind of thing too, didn't he? Where mm -hmm. they were all sort of, are they all very similar to this or are they all quite uniquely different? They're similar in terms of the image, however, the coloring is different. So there's four different colors, mm -hmm. um, very popular with collectors. They trade very actively, not only in Canada, but mm -hmm. worldwide, of course. And the opportunity to get your hands on potentially, f and I a assume they're sold as a set of four, they are. Andy Warhol, that must be quite rare in the art very world rare. too. Absolutely, lots of interest in, in this set as well. This is actually on the cover of the other catalog. Oh yeah. really? Okay, Absolutely. so that, that's how promotable that is, just the fact that his, the Andy Warhol name is associated. Absolutely, and generating yeah. interest, I can tell you, internationally, that this collection of prints. Okay. And just to, just to quickly, one more time, just to touch on this, two, two to three million is two estimated. Two to three million about, dollars for the But with this Harris. kind of demand that you were talking mm -hmm. about, this, you know, the, the people have been waiting on this collection, there's a potential, I suppose, it could go for even more? Oh, absolutely. In the fall, we sold 48 works from the collection. I believe 44 of them exceeded the high end of expectation, given the high level of rarity and quality okay. of the collection. All right, this is amazing. I know you've got more of what's available up for auction, so I'm going to let you head up to uh, meet up with Jen, because Jen is up there now, Rob, so I'll let you sort of Fantastic. walk away from me, Thank and uh, he's going to go up and greet Jen. And this is amazing, so there's Jen now. Yeah, okay, so what you're looking at right now is a painting by David Bowie, actually. I had no idea he was a talented singer, but also a painter. This is Nailhead of Trent Reznor, and an interesting fact about this is that a previous Bowie painting sold by Cowley Abbott at auction made international headlines. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was purchased for five bucks at a thrift store and sold for over 100K. So yet again, we have another David Bowie painting. Uh, but Rob, let's talk about this first one by Tom Thompson. Yes. It's called uh, Ragged Oaks, 1915, and it's absolutely stunning. Very quintessential Thompson. It is. It's actually 19, fall of 1916, okay. so it's the final year of his life. Mm -hmm. We call it the golden year for Tom Thompson. Yeah. Lots of interest in this painting. Same collection, actually, as the Harris and the Emily Carr. We sold two uh, Tom Thompsons in the fall for this collection. One sold for $2.2 million. Wow. This work, this work is valued at between $1 and $1.5 million, but it could very well exceed that as well. Mm. Lots of interest. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it was actually owned by the Thompson family for quite some time before it was acquired by the owners in 71. That's right, Jen. So, in fact, the collectors who own it now, they bought it directly from the Thompson family. So, in fact, it's never really been available for public sale until mm -hmm. now. And yeah, I think it's exciting. worth noting that Thompson did probably about 400 
hundred or so oil paintings yep. on these kind of small wood panels. So this That's is right. quite unique to own a piece like Without this. A doubt. And one, yeah. of, one of our country's most popular artists, definitely. And um, there's a major exhibition coming up this summer as well of yeah. his work. So it's really popular. sad that uh, this artist died at 39 years old before yeah. the Suddenly. forming of the Group of Seven. That's right. We did lose uh, a major artist. Major force, yeah. uh, but from one artist to another, mm -hmm. I had no idea David Bowie painted. Most I people listened don't know. to Space Oddity. Right. <laughs> I can sing all his songs on karaoke. Yep. But this is a, a painting of his friend Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails. Who he toured with and also mm -hmm. recorded with. And as you as you said, we um, we actually set the global record for his work with the work that was discovered in Northern Ontario at a thrift store and sold for one hundred eight thousand dollars. This work's valued at thirty five to fifty five thousand dollars and will be sold on on the, uh, Thursday evening. Yeah, and the reason why this one's so special is because it contains kind of a bit of the lyrics from the song "Hurt." Right? That's right. You can kind of see it if you zoom in. Yep, along the bottom there. At the bottom, yeah, yep. underneath nail. That's fascinating. Okay, and how much do you think this one's going to go for? Thirty-five to fifty-five thousand. But again, there's lots of interest in the artwork. Also, given, of course, the figure that it that it represents and, and the painter, there's a lot of interest. So we'll see on Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very exciting stuff. I can't wait to see uh, who gets to claim these uh, lucky paintings. Absolutely. Okay, Rob. Thank you so much. We're going to hand things over to Nick now again. Nick.